I want to think about all three of those networks together to get an understanding of just how powerful important this is for us. I gained this understanding after making a visit to Silicon Valley with someone who I admire very much, the COO of Facebook, Cheryl Sandberg. I had watched a video that Cheryl had uh, given in a speech to the San Francisco Jewish community earlier in the year. And in it, uh, at the very end of the video, there are some questions for people from the community. That, uh, one of the questions sounded something like this. What is it that we could do in the Jewish community that will help us engage young adults today, because your customer base are young adults, and uh, we see our population as not reaching those people. What is it that you've learned in Facebook that can help us? You have to understand, she's 38, and when I visited her there, she's considered like sort of middle-aged. Uh, everybody's sort of in short, they, they sort of look like we look during this conference, uh, in shorts and walk around with their, their, their laptops. Uh, they write on the walls. Um, I asked Aria when I came back if we could write on the walls too. That went over me. But on the other hand, uh, here was her answer. She said, I would advise um, every organization, and, and as well as uh, the, the Jewish Federation, uh, to hire college student interns. Because they would be able to explain far better directly what it is that young people are interested in and what their views and uh, that would be my advice. So when I heard that answer, I said, wow, I gotta go tell her our story. <laughs> so I got on a plane, went out to Silicon Valley, uh, paid a surprise visit in our friends at Stanford Hillel. I actually trespassed on their property, which I admitted, uh, but nonetheless, because uh, I was there to visit Facebook, I figured, wow, two blocks away, Stanford Hillel, you know. <laughs> so went over and visited them, and had the meeting at Facebook. I showed Cheryl this, uh, as part of a, a graphic uh, explanation of what it is we were doing, I explained to her that six years ago, when we emerged from our strategic plan, we identified student interns as a key strategy for us, and that now, five years later, we have on 86 campuses worked with 700 interns in a database that shares what we've learned. In this. She took one look at this before I could finish my sentence. She said, "Oh." On campuses where you operate, you have actual social networks of people who have common interests around their Jewish identities, and you use those interns to help build relationships that define the community and then are scalable in the places you operate nationally and around the world. Now here's someone that knows something about social networks. <laughs> but I think what she said is actually even more profound. Indeed, today, Hillel is the living, tangible Facebook of the Jewish people. And in understanding the power of the people we know, the social networks that we're creating, just like Google has succeeded in transforming the way that the world thinks about communication, we have the ability to translate and transform